Mr. Wiley Ayetoba. I'm sorry this company has no space for you. Uh, the management believes that uh, we're going to staff at the moment. And um, as a matter of fact, in a couple of weeks, we will be downsizing. I said my money is 150. Please take from me. Please. I can't take this one. Please take. I said 150. 150 is my money. I said my money is 150. Please. See, that is all the money I have. I beg you in the name of God. Please. What aspect of that do you not understand? Oh, good sir. If all organizations insist on working experience, a lot of graduates won't get job. Where do we start from? There are three kinds of unemployment or unemployed. First, I'm just I'm just angry with everyone. I'm angry with everything. Ah, copy that. The last time I checked, anger against people never solves any problem. Why don't you direct your anger towards your lack of productivity and lack of money? So, um, Padre Bro, you said I should write the things I know about myself. So, here are three things I wrote. The first one is, is I love talking. Yeah. I bet you can't do better than that. Padre Bro, shut up. Talking about what? I like talking about education. You mean you love teaching? Yes! <laughs> I get brown now. So how did you become a teacher? Well, I tried. But um, I was rejected in all the places I went to. I never meant you should work for people. I meant you should work for yourself. Money is a reward for services. You see those people on that team? Yes. Every one of them has your money in hands. You have to offer something to get your money from them. Be an entrepreneur. If you have something to sell, you always have something to spend. Sometimes a single creative idea it's all you need to get all you want in life. Gopal Gabriel, I don't have money to start a school. How can I employ myself? You claim you like to teach. So if nobody employs you, employ yourself. Now, there are five ways of making money. Write that down because I'm going to repeat it myself again. First, steal it. Cheat somebody to get it. But this is not honorable and it's very risky and diminishes your value here and the world beyond. Second, inherited from wealthy parents. This is not honorable because people know you did not work for it. Besides, you don't have wealthy parents. Thank you, bro. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, what the little you have in financial investment. Well, this is good so long as you have financial skills and good advice. Doubt if you have it. A Gabriel now. Fourth, work for money, which is both honest and noble. But this will make you financially dependent and you won't even make you rich. Fifth, be an entrepreneur. Do your homework. Do business around what you like doing and what you're skillful in doing. If you love teaching and you have acquired skill in that area, create a mobile school that will meet the needs of students. You don't have to wait for the government to create a job for yourself because all money is made by somebody Selling something to somebody else. Gabriel, 
as you were just talking. I was just thinking. Copy that. Hmm. I didn't expect anything else. To be an effective entrepreneur, you must have the following qualities. First, you must have the urge to work for yourself. Second, you must have the willingness to take risk. Third, you must have the ability to lead people and manage them. Fourth, you must have the urge to make profit. Fifth, you must have a good idea you can translate into good product or services. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Enough. Enough. I have to go and talk about immediately. Mommy Tola, I want to come and start teaching Tola and David home lesson. Is it free? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I don't have money for home lesson. No. It is not free. But since you say you don't have money right now, we'll start with them for free. But you'll promise that once they start to improve in their performances, you'll pay immediately. Oh, I'll pay if I see changes in their performances. But I hope it won't be too expensive. <laughs> you should be able to pay anything for education. Uh -uh. They say education is the best legacy, you know. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. what is education without money? I don't know many unemployed graduates outside. Okay, okay, okay. Do we have a deal? Yes. Thank you very much. I'll be you to leave. Leading you around. But your mom told me that you have a home teacher. Yes, sir. He doesn't know how to teach. I sent him here. <laughs> Is that so? All right, let's go and see your mom. Thank you, Frank Gabriel, for um, what is success. Copy that. 
while I only had 1% of what I wanted to teach him about being financially independent before he walked out on me. Ah, uh ah, -uh, I, I didn't walk out on you. I only felt that if I don't implement what you said immediately, I would lose them. So how many children do you have now and how much do you make a month? I have 17 children now. <laughs> and that fetches me 120,000. Monthly! <laughs> so what is the need of this celebration? I thought you have about 35 children you're teaching now. Ah, uh, Gabriel, I'm only two months into the business. Two months is too much for you not to have become a millionaire. If you double your children, you double your income. But I alone can't see 34 children. Shut up! Help him to develop his business ideas. He does not have a business idea. He's not even thinking how to make money for himself. Hmm. When he starts thinking, you know where to find me. I am afraid. I feel that the children will be taken over by another lesson teacher. Lesson teacher? If somebody asks you what you do, you call yourself a lesson teacher? So that's what I do. I take children after school. Though I never went back to school, I learned the importance of self-development from Pagibra. He insisted I educate myself, though I had no interest in formal education. I started reading books on money and business. He insisted I learn how to operate a computer and browse the internet. My brother, today, I dropped out of school because there were no relatives to sponsor me. Pa Gabriel, are you suggesting I go back to school? Are you registered? Yes, I'm registered with Bushman Association of Nigeria. I'm even the secretary of my chapter. You're registered with the slave association of the country? Sir? Mm. Every time you wash my clothes, I will see you as a slave. Thank you. 